Galphon challenge against Daniel Jungleman Cates. Keep in mind that these stakes are 1020 on the table, but they're actually 100, 200. How did you end up in this challenge? Um, I, I wanted to take down Galphon. What do you mean? How did I end up, end up? You would be, su you would be surprised at the kind of dastardly stuff, uh, Gal, uh, Falcons is capable of. And small bet turn or check. I guess I'll bet here with this queen 10 hand. I think three quarters is better now that I think about it. I don't have that many flushes. Certainly not, not folding. I'm kind of saying I either have a flush or whatever. I could bet really small. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The problem here is that I really don't have that many hands. I really don't. But this might be stupid. This might be stupid. It's a pretty good bluff hand. Five of clubs is very helpful. There's a decent chance it's stupid. <laughs> I think with no clubs in my hand, I can just let this go. It is, <clears throat> he's going to have fewer flushes once he limps, but I can still wait for a single club hand to uh, look him up here. I don't block four. It's actually kind of close. Queen 10, do have a nine. All right, I'm a little suspicious. Ah. Well, basically, sometimes I'm suspicious and I can't explain why because I actually can't quite put my finger on it. Um, but other times I'm suspicious. I could explain why, but it's uh, it would take me too long to explain. That time was more of the former. I was suspicious and not quite sure why. How do I reload? Ships, there we go. It's very annoying how it does that. Like, clearly, whoever made the software has not tried to reload before. A nice try, Galphon. Tried to make a stab, but that kind of stuff's just not going to fly. It's not going to fly with the jungle in town. All right, I'm going to bet the aces and a, an open ended. Pretty good hand. Don't always check raise top set, but often. And they get raised. Not looking for a raise, but I will call. Boom! I was looking for that. <laughs> I think just pot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go all in. Only top set in a redraw. No big deal. It's a very unfortunate turn card for us. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, that. Oh shit. We are off to a bad start. <laughs> this is a good strategy, by the way, guys. If um you're trying to learn PLO. It's just cooler the shit out of your opponents. Hmm. Interesting spot over here. Good check. It's kind of weird. Uh, like... it's kind of weird. But I think this is a perfect example of like, I made a hero call that worked. And then I got set over setted. So like, I'm not, I'm down, but I'm not sad about the way I've been playing. All right, so here I give the nuts, um, basically the nuts. I do think, do you think does pot size make sense? No, what, the, what does he think I'm bluffing with? I don't think he thinks I'm bluffing. Interesting. Um, I'm not going to fold. Just really don't want to re-raise here. Very unlikely if he's got three nines, he decides to go with the turn checkers thing. I'm going to put the last little bit in. I think no. I think I'm just going to call. Yeah. Oh, God. Fuck's sake. And he takes this whack line that literally no one takes. Jack, Jack, or Jack six, which is going to have more. I guess he's going to have Jack six a lot more often. So maybe that's a fish play to not, not get the last 700 in. I actually saved money, but thinking about it more, I was thinking I should raise pot. Well, if you get raised pot there and you're like bottom side, you're a pretty ugly spot. On the other table, I have three bet, and here I am. That sizing I can call. My nut got shot, even though it's obviously, you know, not a big hand. It's such a weak draw with no good blockers, so I'm going to check and then see what to do on the river. Here the action was a three bet bet flop. He called, turn, check, check, and now here we are. And here I'm going to bluff half pot, basically. Yeah, that's good. 
I'm not repping the straights, I'm repping aces up. Could consider betting queens up as well. All right, I spiced it up big time on the other table. <laughs> it's weird. Be an interesting bet three bet, but why don't I believe you? I can't call, obviously, with jack high. I want to shove, but so, yeah. I just think he's bluffing. I don't know. I'm not, I, I can't call with jack high. I would call with a lot of stuff there. I suspect he's bluffing. Oh, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> the Falcons, you can keep boat over boating me, but you can't handle my moves. All right. What the fuck do I do here? Could bet or check this. I'll start with the check. And now I made a full house here. Let's see. It's a nice river. Yeah, I'm going to bet like this. I'm not so bowler. I could have like ace jack, I guess. Look what's happening. Now, the question is, should I re-raise him back? Looks like the answer is no. Should I re-raise him back? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Fuck, dude. He had King Jack. That's cooler for him. They can do some weird shit. Interesting on the left table. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> can I check raise this combo? Yes. Kind of bananas. Wow. I was not expecting that. I'm not folding yet, but it's very strange. He's kind of repping a set. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to see that here. I mean, I have no option at all. I'm just going to pot. I think I have to fold. He's going to have some like four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, eight and stuff. But if he has a set, I have four outs. And if he has four, five, six, eight, he has a lot of outs. And I think he's more often going to have two pairs set. He doesn't just need to have set. He can have king seven. So yeah, I'm not feeling great about this. Some of these are kind of OPCs. <laughs> I don't want to show. He folded. He folded on the other table. We're going to have the ace jack, 10, 10 clubs. Yeah, it was a bluff that he had. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> There's one thing for sure that's going to happen as a matter of uh, this match with Falcons. He's going to know who the spiciest of them all is. All right, I got some spice. <laughs> Interesting flop. I guess I'll bet this one. Uh, here, I'm going to check raise over here for sure. I'm sure the GTO sizing is probably full pot. I don't think I can fold this with the two back doors, but he made it pretty big. It's just on this board, you have so few draws that bluffing can work pretty well if you're not gonna if you're not gonna call. Bye bye money. <laughs> I have to full pot now, can I not? <laughs> this is this is banana. I think OP hopefully does not have a nine eight. I can get real trashed. And now he just has a straight or a set. So what equity do I have? I mean, could he have ace, queen, jack, eight with hearts? Sure. But <laughs> just like, what the fuck? He <laughs> probably has not seen this too much. It's not that crazy. Like, for sure, he's seen it at some point. I don't know if he's seen some of the other stuff, though. <laughs> yeah, so straight, I have one, two, three. Maybe those aren't even outs. We'll count that as one, and we'll count these as like nine. So I have like nine outs, which is like 22%. I'm ever good. Am I ever good? I don't... I mean, yes, but not enough to have to, to have 34% equity or whatever I need here. So I'm going to fold. <laughs> he's playing against a different kind of beast. <laughs> Ah, I got one through! I got one through! <laughs> uh, you guys don't think I'm logical. I am logical. Shut up. I'm both. I'm both mad and also logical. My plays have logic to them. You can see the math. <laughs> oh, shit. Here, do I raise full pot or do I do this? I believe 
I do not raise full pot here because he himself can have the nuts. Unfortunately, this is just a fold. I, I may be polarizing, but he, his range of his, his self has the nuts a lot. So, of course, he can have 10 10, but I have better hands to call. Like, it's better to have a set, it's better to have a flush draw with something else. When he himself is repping the nuts and I'm re repping the nuts, I can't go full or, or two. I mean, I can't go full pot. I'm not like, but I'm not like, you know, it's not nuts versus rolls of non nuts range situation. With the Jack of Diamonds, I'll bet this aces. Uh, definitely just call here. Well, I shouldn't say definitely, but just call here. And now we get it in. It's one of those, if he's got me, he's got me situations. If he checks, I have to decide what sizing to use. I think I prefer smaller sizing because there are no high straight draws out there. This, this spot, I think the solver likes to uh, check call. I mean, certainly getting that size, I'm not check folding. Versus uh, bet, that is. It really looks like I have a flush draw. I'm trying to think if I should bet full pot or not. Yeah, I mean, I got to bluff this card. It's interesting. Like, if he has aces with diamonds or kings, with, like king x with diamonds, it just goes in on the turn. So I feel like his diamonds are going to be a lot of weaker diamonds. But the question is, does he lead here with, you know, jack high diamonds? The only problem is, again, my leads are really... Smite not give my leads a whole lot of credit weak like if he has king nine six five diamonds he does this maybe ah, it's not the best example problem is like so many hands got there ace queen queen deuce doesn't have to bluff anymore but for some reason like this is not a call but i'm pretty suspicious so i'm gonna go for it oh shit oh what so i'm glad i trust my gut when i'm suspicious this uh Ace's hand is a sandwich. I don't understand how he calls there, but whatever. Maybe he just thinks I'm trapping too much. Ooh, we have a straight flush on the other table. So when check check on the flop, he bet full pot. A lot of good stuff happening. I'm going to call. When he bets full pot, he's polarizing, so there's not a whole lot to raise in the turn. Not a whole lot of point, in case I missed to say the word point. So obviously now we lose to ace ace but a lot of ace ace folds turn he's a jack of clubs with an ace is he doing this i mean i'm obviously revving a boat we can have six seven of clubs jack seven of clubs six seven of clubs jack seven of clubs queen jack of clubs and then ace ace and ace nine ace nine's if he he called a big bet on the turn so he's got a lot of flushes with like a single blocker to those not clubs Jack of clubs, ace seven of clubs. Um, all right, jump off. I, I have no idea. I didn't have a feeling one way or the other there. Limp's pot. For some reason, I limp called this hand. He bet one third pot. I called. I was debating raising turn. Uh, I bet. I think I'm going to go for it here. Okay, he raises me. Raises me. Interesting. He might have a queen high flush thinking I can't have. Uh, can't have king high flush. Now, okay, so in this situation, I'm going to um, at least look, make it look like I'm contemplating. I just think I rep like two pair plus the king of diamonds pretty well. Doing something like uh, jamming with the, the nut flush draw blocker. I think he's going nowhere. It's just that that would be the decision tree that I'd be thinking of if I was to well, if I was to jam. No. <laughs> oh, jungle. Is he bluffing one tiny fraction of the time? I think he's probably not, but I, I want to see it. Yeah. Uh, but I like my play there. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to fold that, probably. You have to keep in mind it was his, his limping range, so a lot of his flushes are going to be lower. He can't handle the limps. No one limped in the their challenge against him. Someone had to bring golf on to justice. That'd be some... He's playing all these sensible people. Now he's playing the jungle. <laughs> he was soaring too high, this guy, Mr. Falcons. His righteous attitude, always doing the right thing and being nice. Someone had to humble him. He needed to play a Seiko. <laughs> 
that is the turn I was thinking of. I had two in mind. We got a spicy situation over here. So I'm wondering to myself if I should ever do something like raise a normal amount rather than full pot. I'm going to raise. It's just a question of how much. I believe I must raise full pot for his stack size. Wow. I don't think I can fold. I think a deeper I could get away with something smaller. It might be the case. Jack, Jack makes a lot of sense. Obviously, King, King, but King, Jack, and then some combo draws. Do I ever want to just call? I might. How often does he have King, Jack? I could have 3-3 three, three as well. I'm just going to put it in. Uh, I blocked 3-3, three, three, which is really unfortunate. But he had the big draw. Boom! I sucked out like a champion. <laughs> yeah, he's never folding that. Never in his life. I always raise flop with his hand, but his, his play's good too. So, he's so by the book, he's not used to a street player like me. He's not used to a real gangster. A poker gangster. Not a real gangster. 